Hey, what's up? How's it going? It's Faisal here and welcome back to Driving Side where I bring you um, updates on road safety awareness every week just like this one. In this video we're going to talk about the difference between single and dual carriageway. Do you know what makes it a uh, difference between single and dual carriageway? And then national speed limit for single and dual carriageways. Hey, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and if you already have, thank you very much. Uh, okay, let's look and understand what is a um, dual carriageway. Some drivers think that dual carriageway is a road where two or more lanes and they're confusing the dual carriageways uh, with lanes and uh, carriageways. So please remember dual carriageway is a road um, with a central reservation in the middle of the road which separates the oncoming traffic. So dual carriageway has a physical barrier in the middle. Single carriageway is a road with no barrier. It can have more than one or two lanes. Uh, separated on each side with some paint or markings in the middle of the road. So only paint and marking doesn't make it a dual carriageway. Dual carriageway have to have a central reservation. Um, so more than paint work and it could be uh, curb, grass verges, hedges, bushes, trees, metal barriers which split the road into two pieces of tarmac. Now you have a dual carriageway. So dual carriageway is two separate road. Single carriageway is one piece of tarmac with uh, paint in the middle so curb to curb is one carriageway one road okay it can have more or less lanes so dual carriageway is basically two piece of tarmac with a barrier in the middle of the road you do need a physical barrier in the middle of the road now you can have one lane on each direction it will be still called dual carriageway and it's very important to know that because the national speed limit is different on these two roads so, for example, on the single carriageway, uh, the national speed limit for a car and motorbike is 60 miles per hour. But if you have a dual carriageway, the national speed limit is 70 miles per hour. So please remember, you need to have a physical barrier in the middle to make sure it is a dual carriageway. I'm getting a lot of drivers uh, on the course. Of course, there's various reasons why people go over the speed limit. And one of that is they've got the road. They haven't identified a dual carriageway and single carriageway. So they will be driving along two or three lanes, single carriageways, thinking that it is a dual carriageway and got the speed limit wrong because the national speed limit on single carriageway is 60. But because they thought it was a dual carriageway, they were doing above 60 miles per hour. So get themselves caught out with the speeding. So please, please remember to, to confirm it's a dual carriageway. We do need to see a physical uh, barrier in the middle and it can be anything from curb and above. Okay. And also please remember in UK, we always drive in the left hand side of the road and overtake on the right. So once you have finished overtaking, please move back to the left hand lane uh, because you don't want to be uh, hogging the middle lane. So avoid any uh, lane hogging, just move back to the left hand lane when it's safe to do so after you finished overtaking. Question of the day for you. Uh, did you know the difference between single and dual carriageway? Did you know that we need to have a physical barrier to confirm it is a dual carriageway? Please comment down below. And if you got some value out of this video, please like and share and don't forget to subscribe. If you already have, I thank you very much for that and really, really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. If you haven't, please consider subscribing and um, don't forget to turn the notification on and continue watching some more videos. I've got more videos on road safety awareness, so you can just click one of those videos on either side of the uh, video. And until next week, use the road safely. Bye for now.